The rise of fintech companies has highlighted the need for financial solutions. Galileo, the technology platform of the fintech juggernaut SoFi, remains one of the most promising companies that offer financial solutions to other fintechs. In fact, according to Slintel.com, Galileo currently has around 1,858 customers in 94 countries. Wow, that's, that's a lot. In this video, we'll go over five things you should know about Galileo. So if you're still trying to understand how Galileo could eventually affect SoFi in the long run, stay tuned until the end of this video. You don't wanna miss any of this. We're not financial advisors and none of this is financial advice, so always do your own due diligence. If you're completely new to Galileo, check out the video we made titled SoFi Stock Galileo Financial Technologies Explained. Here are the five key things you should know about Galileo. Number one, Galileo is one of the keys to SoFi's global expansion. In a bonus clip from our previous video titled SoFi Stock Hidden Real Estate Partnership Plus Global Expansion Play, Anthony Noto expressed that SoFi the company is just getting started in the US market along with SoFi Hong Kong. However, Galileo remains to be the company's door to the international market. Galileo has been providing financial solutions to fintech companies doing business in Canada, Europe, Latin America, the UK, and the US. Outside the United States is a huge opportunity. Um, our technology platform Galileo, which is a payment processing capability for debit and ACH, and now that we announced the Technosys deal, it's also another piece of our AWS and FinTech strategy. That is our main effort outside the United States, is enabling these financial pioneers in Mexico, in Colombia, and LATAM uh, to innovate in those markets as well. And we're the underlying infrastructure for that. Galileo serving other fintechs abroad will eventually give SoFi CEO Anthony Noto and the SoFi gang a clear picture of what's happening in the fintech market outside of the US. Once the company is ready to execute its plan of global expansion, they'll know exactly where to focus and what to offer in a specific area. This, in turn, saves a lot of time and money for market research. Number two, crucial for the development of SoFi's platform. Now we all know that digital application is an ever evolving matter. Software developers always seem to find something to develop around a certain app, whether it be the user interface, the overall concept of the app, or some key features within the app, it's constantly changing to become as user-friendly as possible. And this is where acquiring Galileo made it a huge win for SoFi. SoFi, with Galileo under its umbrella, won't have a hard time trying to keep up with the times. SoFi, the company, won't always be looking out for someone to develop its app in the market. Galileo will enable its platform to be one of the first, if not the first, to develop among other fintech apps. Number three, growing market for financial solutions. According to an article published by EINnews.com, the financial services market size is expected to grow from $23.31 trillion in 2021 to a whopping $25.83 trillion this year. It is even expected to reach $37.34 trillion in market valuation in 2026. The rapid adaptation of EMV, short for EuroPay, MasterCard, and Visa, technology has paved the way for the massive growth of the financial service market. Now for a little due diligence for those of you who aren't familiar with EMV. EMV works as a security standard for various payment cards, including debit, credit charge, and prepaid cards. According to Chase.com, EMV cards store card holder information on a metallic chip instead of on a magnetic stripe. The EMV chip technology protects cardholder credit card information. It creates a one-time use code when inserted into an EMV reader. And this code authenticates the process of payment instead of the card number printed on the card. And how does this exactly affect Galileo? I'm glad you asked. Galileo is one of those fintech solution companies that offer EMV chip cards. And in our Wealth Gambit opinion, it is only fair to expect that Galileo will take a huge slice of that expected 37 trillion financial service market valuation in 2026. Number four, Galileo is growing nonstop. In SoFi's Q1 2022 report, Galileo recorded a 32% year-over-year growth. On top of that, it contributed the majority of the $60.8 million in total technology platform segment net revenue. Galileo's enabled client accounts also showed 58% year-over-year growth in Q1 2022, reaching approximately 110 million users. According to SoFi, this growth was because of Galileo's acquisition of 10 new clients, two of which operate in the B2B space, 
and user growth at existing clients. SoFi's recent acquisition of Technicis is expected to complement Galileo Technologies in multiple ways. And as SoFi the company continues to reinvest its revenue in its business segments, we could definitely expect that Galileo will continue to grow as the company executes its business strategy. Number five, fintech companies continuously partner with Galileo. You know a company is doing a good job when companies want to partner with them. Galileo has had many partnerships. Earlier this year, Galileo had announced two partnerships it had entered. One with Global Rewards, a fintech company focused on B2B payment solutions. And two with Spruce, H&R Block's mobile banking app. But wait! In March this year, Galileo had also partnered with Aplazo, the first omni-channel buy now pay later BNPL platform in Mexico. Galileo Financial Technologies, together with MasterCard and Aplazo, will launch Latin America's first of its kind virtual card solution. In just this May, Galileo Financial Technologies announced its multi-year strategic partnership with MasterCard to accelerate digital transformation and improve access to financial opportunities for the under served in Latin America and the Caribbean. Galileo represents only one of SoFi's business segments, and yet it is showing an unlimited potential. It is the window of Commander Noto and the SoFi gang to foreign markets with its technology. SoFi members can rest assured that the SoFi app will always be up to date with whatever change there is in the digital space. The rapid adaptation of digital payments represent a very big opportunity for Galileo. And lastly, its growing partnerships would mean growth in its user base and of course, in revenue. If you haven't already, follow us on our social media pages at Wealth Gambit. We post daily relevant news and dank financial memes. The link will be in the description box below. Shout out to all of you who commented on our previous videos. We really appreciate it. And a special shout out to everyone in our Patreon community. You guys truly help to make these videos possible and we really appreciate all the support. Shout out to Arthur Magazu, Wei Chu, Daniel Corbett, Mr. Welfare, Casey Patel, Jeff Sherman, Gregory Villar, Bo Park, Denzil, Reginald Davis, Les Broadway, Christian Cardelfi, Kevin Bofrand, Jay Bone, and Daniel Zinson. If you happen to gain any value from this video, please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to help us hit our goal of 4,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching. We greatly appreciate it. And until next time, peace.